welcome back to another video on the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or witchy oriented, cat lady box unboxings, vegan taste tests, craft with me videos, and chronic illness awareness chats. Shout out to all my fellow Spoonies. If any of that interests you, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Also make sure to hit that bell so you are notified every single time I upload. Oh, and today, guys, we're doing another episode of what I'm calling Witchin' in the Kitchen, because you know, witch in the kitchen. <laughs> today, what I'm going to be doing... Sorry about that, friends. The maintenance person is working on something, so <laughs> it got really loud. But what I'm doing today is I'm actually going to make breakfast. I'm doing like a breakfast for dinner thing, but I'm making it a little bit earlier just because I have energy earlier in the day and this kind of things works really well for leftovers. So the first thing I'm doing, I soak some potatoes. I cut these up, soak them in water for like, I would say at least maybe four hours or so if possible. Um, I found soaking them, it brings out the starch in them. And so that way when you either bake them or I'm gonna air fry them, it makes them really nice and crispy. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna season these up with a whole bunch of stuff. I'm doing some nutritional yeast. I'm gonna do garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of oil, salt, pepper, maybe a little bit of paprika. I'll throw it in the air fryer. I'm not gonna show that full process because our air fryer, our air fryer is amazing. But this sucker is loud and so it's gonna throw this whole thing up. So I will just end up air frying. I'll show you how everything looks, how those look at the end. Then I'm also going to be making some tofu scramble. Again, I may not show you the full process because I figure the fan is really, really loud for my stove, but I'm just gonna do tofu, some chopped up zucchini, a little bit of salsa in it, butter, nutritional yeast, a lot of the same seasonings I throw into the potatoes, I throw into that. Also maybe some Italian spices, but I'll show you tofu scramble at the end as well. But the big thing we are doing, and the whole reason I really wanted to film this for you guys, is that I really wanted to try playing around with this coffin pan I got at Joanne. What we're gonna try doing is making, if you've ever made like sausage balls, it's a big thing in the South, especially around the holidays. I know my mom always made sausage balls for like Thanksgiving, Christmas, um, Easter, anything like that. And it's literally a can of biscuits. And these, the Grands, just regular Southern home style, happen to be accidentally vegan, which is super awesome. So just check the ingredients on those. Um, if, even if it says um, may contain, milk it usually doesn't and they usually put that just for liability reasons so as long as you don't have a milk allergy these will be fine and then you also put sausage in it so it's biscuits a thing of sausage i am using this new thing from impossible they have this like breakfast sausage and it's the savory one and it, this reminds me so much of sausage from when i was little like jimmy dean sausage in a tube <laughs> so you mix these together you put um I, I cook this first i'm gonna cook it in the pan first then you'll throw it in with the biscuits into a bowl and i'm gonna use a whole bunch of like vegan cheddar cheese and literally you just squish it all together typically for sausage balls then you would just take a small handful roll into a ball put those on a sheet pan and bake them 350 for like 10 minutes i think i don't really know we'll, we'll see how long but I thought I might try making like sausage ball coffin cakes. We'll see. I'm very curious to see how this works, see if it burns, see if it doesn't. I will probably end up putting some like jam or something with mine at the end so it's like red on the coffin. I know Craig said he's probably gonna put hot sauce on his, but it's really just like hot sauce with sausage biscuits. So literally I'm doing jam with sausage biscuits. So that's going to be the process I'm going to focus on most, but let me go ahead. I'm going to get my potatoes going. I'm going to do my tofu scramble and I'm going to go ahead and cook this up and then I'll meet you back when we're ready to start the coffin process. Okay. So everything is done. Let me show you my tofu scramble. I think it turned out super well. A whole bunch of zucchini, some uh, tofu, obviously. <laughs> put nutritional yeast, uh, soy sauce I use um, as the salt a little. It doesn't really, won't taste like soy sauce, it just gives it that, the salt factor to it. Um, salsa, garlic powder, onion powder, and then the zucchini itself um, had onion powder, garlic powder, and Italian spice, and a little bit of salt. 
I will say at the very very end if you're doing like obviously you can just make eggs or whatever you're doing but if you're doing this as a tofu scramble but a really fun thing you can put on the end is something called black salt kala namak um, this is such a fun thing and a little goes a very long way it's called black salt but it's pink but it has that sulfur flavor so if you're doing like tofu scramble or something do all of your cooking for it, turn off the heat, and then sprinkle a bit of this on top. So it does work as a salt, but it will you will smell it. It'll smell like sulfur, like very eggy, and so it'll even give it that flavor to it. So I think it's super, super cool. And again, a little goes a long way. I've had this jar for a year and a half, and like, look, I've used like barely none. <laughs> so um, this is such a fun thing. I think I found this on Amazon, by the way, if you're looking for it. But now we're ready to do the sausage ball cake things. I have prepped my pan. I went ahead and I used a little brush, buttered on some butter, because it does say use butter, and then you put a little flour on it. I didn't do the flour because the biscuits already have flour in it, and I'm hoping that will work to keep it from sticking. But if you're gonna do anything else like brownies or something, I would for sure do um, flour on it. Do not use regular cooking spray on these because it just will not work it it needs that flour component so if you're going to use a cooking spray there is one that's like called a baking spray and it has both oil and flour combo use that but i like to just use like butter or you could use oil and then sprinkle a little flour tap 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 i'm gonna try without it and hope it turns out okay because there's so much oil in biscuits usually even if you put those on a baking pan you don't need to spray it they don't usually stick i open these up does anyone else have like a freaking panic attack trying to open up the cans? You never know when it's going to pop. Ever since I was a kid, these have always freaked me out. I've always avoided doing it. I've gotten a little better. Do you hear? Jip is meowing. She's got to be playing with something. Whenever she drags a toy around in her mouth, she meows as if to let you know her presence. So I'm going to put this. I got this big bowl. I'm going to put this in there. I have ground up my sausage. It's all good. I'm going to throw that in the pan. And then I have, this is the cheese I'm going to use. Violife is a pretty good um, non-dairy cheese brand for looking for it. Daya also works. Um, so Delicious actually came out with some stuff. There's actually vegan cheese shreds have come a long way. So hi darling. Do you want to say hi to people? Come here. <gasps> say hi Miss Jeff. Oh, yeah, pretty girl. She just wanted some loves. Mm-hmm. Okay, now she was down. Okay, so I'm going to throw all three of those components into the pit or into the bowl and start squishing it all together. I did also get out this little jack-o'-lantern mold pan. Um, if you watch my live, you, I told you I was going to be doing this for some uh, chocolate treats. I think I also want to try putting some of the sausage balls in here because I'm afraid... I don't want to make the cake things too thick because I don't know how well it's going to cook. I don't want anything to be raw while other stuff is completely burnt. So I'm going to make those kind of small and then I think I'm going to put the rest of the mix into these and have like little jack-o'-lantern sausage balls. So let's get to mixing. And it's gonna feel like that you're, you have so much sausage, you're not gonna be able to mix it in. Just keep squishing, like folding it in on itself and squishing it all in. It'll eventually, essentially soak up all the little sausage bits. Hold it together like you would like a straight up like bread dough or something just like fold and squish fold and squish <laughs> I love dough okay now we'll put the cheese in I did not put the cheese in at first because I didn't want it to melt if it once it hit the hot sausage I wanted to get that mixed in together then we'll pour this in I don't really know how much we'll do maybe like 
cup and a half. <laughs> this is not a healthy dish, so I'm not super concerned. And you could totally do different types of cheeses. If you want to do like, ooh, like um, some sort of like a jalapeno Havarti or or something like that, that could be a really fun take on this. Like this is super customizable. It's like whatever you wanted to do. Like if you wanted to do spicy sausage or chorizo even, like I think something like that could work in here. Just kind of play around with it, make it your own. I'm really trying to squish the cheese in to make sure it's well encoded and there's not too many little pieces just like sticking out because I don't want it to like instantly melt. <laughs> All right, you'll know it's ready when it's like, you can't really even see too much of the actual dough. Everything's very like, it looks super well combined. Like just a mush of sausage, cheese, and biscuit. Okay, let's try putting this in our pan. I'm just gonna do this by hand. <laughs> so this is probably like maybe a third of a cup. So I would normally, if you're gonna do like just straight up sausage balls, you could totally use this mix and just take like a tablespoon and a half or so, roll it, put that on a sheet pan and bake these for like eight to 10 minutes at 350. But I'm gonna do these little cakes, hopefully turn out okay. So I'm doing maybe like the bottom third or so of the pan. So I think it'll, it should rise up a good bit and hopefully that little skeleton dude actually gets imprinted on it. That would be really cool. You could totally stuff these as well. That would be fun. Like do this, put like, I don't know, some sort of filling in it and then put a little bit more on top. Like if you wanted to do your jam or hot sauce or if you wanted to do a strip of like really spicy cheese or or something like that, that could be really cool too. I'm trying to like really, really push it in around each of those edges and right in the center to make sure, hopefully that design will imprint on it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get these in the oven. Um, I have it set to 350. I'm gonna start with like 10 minutes and I'll check on it. While those are in the oven, I'm gonna work on filling these. <sighs> I'm super excited. So yeah, I will show you everything once it's all out of the oven. Wish me luck. All right, friends, so everything is finally baked. It did take a little while. The coffin-shaped ones took about 13 minutes, I think. No, maybe close to 15 minutes. The pumpkin ones took quite a bit longer. I would say maybe close to 20 minutes just because they were quite a bit thicker. So here's what they look like on the plate. They all popped out of the pan, super easy. This awesome coffin. A little jack lantern you can't really see the jack lantern face too much but you can see the coffin shape really well super cute kind of see our little skeleton outline what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put a little bit of i have this blueberry jam i don't even know where i got this but this is the first time i'm trying it it's been in my cabinet for months and um uh, i think i'm gonna put a little bit on top of each of these so i think that'll be nice to kind of like balance out the richness, the cheese, the sausage, all of that with a little bit of sweetness. I don't know, when I was little, my mom, especially my dad even, they would take biscuits, put a sausage, sausage patty on it, and then also put grape jelly on it. And I used to be so grossed out. I was like, why would you put jelly with sausage? And now I finally get it. <laughs> I don't know. I was, I, was, I was a picky eater as a kid. <laughs> all right. Put our little bloody coffin. Let's give it a taste. I am tearing up. Why am I tearing up? You know when you eat something that's so good and you just feel emotional instantly? For some reason that is doing this. <laughs> it's amazing. I think for me it's because it's just super nostalgic, that sausage ball thing. This is amazing. I'm so glad I have like so many jack-o'-lanterns and so many coffins. Clark and I are gonna have a, a really amazing dinner. I highly re recommend making, even if you don't make tofu scramble or potatoes or any of that, make, even just make sausage balls and dip them in some like, this is blueberry jelly, but I think raspberry jelly or grape jelly, something like that would be really, really good. Or oh, this is actually jam. I can never remember the difference. I think it has to do with the thickness or what it's made of. I don't know, but definitely make the sausage balls. Put a little jelly with it or just dip it in if you don't have like coffins or fun shapes. Just make the little balls, dip it in some jelly. You are gonna be so happy. 
especially if you do have some tofu scrambled potatoes on the side but I know you can kind of see the texture of it but it really did come together almost like a, a sausage cheese biscuit patty and I'm a happy camper okay I'm gonna stop eating too much on camera I really hope you guys enjoy this I know um, you guys are commenting that you really love all the cooking videos and I love cooking so this kind of keeps me being creative because I know I can get into ruts of eating like the same thing for weeks on end for lunch so this is kind of fun it's helped me to be a little bit more creative and try new things or even just share things that I think you guys might like so I'm really hopefully you enjoy this one if you have anything else you would love for me to try even if it's something that's not vegan I might be able to veganize it especially as we're going into the holidays it's totally a fun place to really play around and be creative so let me know if you have any suggestions thank you all again so much for watching I always appreciate all your love and support it really does mean the world to me um, I hope you're doing wonderful and I'll see you in the next video bye